Well, how you doing out there? Uh, we got a little story here about our Key 45. The owner has actually came over and paid me some money. He actually came over and paid me some money. We had a long, long talk, a long discussion. After uh, many phone calls of cussing and hollering and telling him to fuck off and him not understanding the situation, I think he understands. So we will be painting the GQ45. It has been confirmed. Q45 will be painted pearl white at Pete's Body Shop, Southwest Rod and Custom. Now, the car was going to be delivered in primer and then he was going to go find somebody else, but we changed our minds. Mr. Nice Guy that I am, I decided to go ahead. I'm finishing up on the bodywork on the hood over here. Uh, the hood was shipped here from out of the state. I don't know where he got it. Uh, it had some buckles in it. It had the corners were bent over and it had a couple little dings. So we're getting that. Now, this car's been sitting for approximately four days, four or five, let's say a week, okay? What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead. Now, I rubbed all the bodywork in, okay? This had considerable hail damage. I showed you the hail damage. I showed you how I marked it out with my magic marker. I used the light to find the dance, okay? I fixed the dance, you saw that. Now what we're gonna do, I put it in primer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, and if you look behind me there, uh, what do we see? We see the hand block, okay? We see the nice, clean, straight edge. We see that it's a flexible hand block, okay? To get the contours and the curves. We see the Dura Block, all right? Why I'm advertising for them like this is a fucking commercial for Dura Block, I don't know. Okay, it's not for my fucking benefit. It's not my fucking benefit that I advertise to you for fucking Dura Block, is it? So why am I fucking doing it? Also, here, let's do a little advertising for these guys, all right? Here you go, Merca, all right? Merca brand, okay, gold, okay? Quality start to finish, okay? Merca gold, all right? 180 grit. Buy that at your local fucking uh, paint and body slot where you get your fucking Dura Block. So we take our Dura Block. Right. I've already put a guide coat on that, you can see that, okay? What a guide coat is, is it's gonna help me find the dents that I didn't get out. It's gonna help me find my high spots and my low spots. It's always important to put a guide coat on your car. I take my sander and I start sanding, see? Let me show you a good example of guide coat usage here, okay? If you look in this area right here, can you see that? Okay, let me look in the camera. Yes, you can see it. Okay. If you look, let me explain something. If you see my eyes shifting over to this way here, that's because I'm making sure that I'm doing my job for you. That I'm making sure that you can see everything that I'm trying to show you, see? So do me a fucking favor. Pay fucking attention and use my advice. Okay? Don't make me waste my fucking time out here with my fucking Dura Block. Okay? So, if you look right here, you can see the black spots that are still on there. Those are low spots. Now, yes, I've already done the bodywork to it. Yes, it has been done. But, I told you I roughed it in. What I'm doing, I'm blocking it out now, see? I have used 2K filler primer on this. Alright? I will block it out. Okay. Now, if you look at it, 
Okay? The black spots are gone. That's because I have done the body work. I have used my 2K primer. I let my 2K primer sit, okay? And now it has cured. The bondo has shrunken down. The primer has shrunk. It has cured and it is ready for sanding. Do not sand your car a day, 24 hours after you prime it, okay? You want to let your car sit for approximately four to 10 days. The longer, the better. That doesn't mean take your car and go drive it. Go get it all sloshy, wet in the snow. Go let it get rained on, get film all over it and road grime. That just means let your car sit. Let the primer have time to cure. Okay, that's got a hardener in it. There's an activator in it. Okay, let the Bondo cure. Okay, you might have put the Bondo on when it was 10 degrees in your fucking garage, and now it's 60 degrees, so it has to shrink and rise and shrink and make sure that it gets to where it's gonna be when it's gonna be there. Okay, if you notice where I'm sanding, you can see, okay, the lines in it. That's from sanding this before I prime it. I take my block and I sand the guide coat until everything is gone, see? Until it's one solid, light gray sheet, nice and clean film, see? Now, if you look at it, you can see that this area is clean. I've got a low spot there. That's where body work is. So, important to dry block your car after you prime it. This is the first sanding of this vehicle, okay? I will reprime the areas that I am block sanding and they will be sanded again, okay? The next sanding that I do will be the west sanding. We will be painting the GQ45 here. Yes, I am looking over here, okay? I'm making sure that you can see behind me. Thank you very fucking much. We will be painting the GQ45. The customer has understood the situation.